Hello everyone and welcome to the Hi. lesson eight, not lesson eight, the lesson nine kanji live stream. How's it going? <laughs> uh, happy Turkey Day over in America for those of you who are celebrating that today. Uh, this the chat right now is making me Hi. very hungry. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Let's show you what Yuki made for you today. It's Thanks. still the day before, yeah. So, so. Yeah, but everyone's getting ready. Here's Yuki's picture for today. はい、ちょっとね。まだ私もあのワーキングオンの状態ですから。あ、she's <笑> All right, how's everyone doing today? Chris W. Wow, that's great. He says, thanks for joining us today. Maxim Bondarenko. Konnichiwa. Pollux, how's it going? Hi, Amanda konnichiwa. Nordstrom. Tomorrow. Yes, wow, already nine. Ne. Yeah, today it's it's 10.50. It's almost nine. Hmm? Uh, 9 p.m. for you guys. Yeah, okay. So, so. It's From the morning, a lot of people will start cooking, I think. Oh. Um, but... Most people come over after lunch, I'd say. But depends on depends on how everyone's different. Mm. Strider Yoki Yoko, welcome to the stream. Ah, Just finished my sushi. Nice. Oh. I'm an expert cook with my wallet. Me too. Gerusa, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by today. I forgot to link the uh, the premiere mm. to the live stream today. Uh, it's a busy couple of days, <laughs> so a lot of people are probably sitting over on the on the um. On the premiere, like, why aren't we moving? But <laughs> is what it is. Thanks for moving over here, guys. Um, let's see. I'm DLK Cupid from the website. Oh, okay, nice. Thanks Hi. for uh, coming to hang out at the stream. And thanks for your support on the website. We aren't. Ah, yeah, lesson nine. Yeah, crazy, right? I'm supposed to be a few lessons ahead on the website right now. Unfortunately, lesson 10, I'm not finished editing it yet. Because Otto. once again, it's been a crazy <laughs> couple weeks. But oh, we'll yeah, get there. Yeah, we'll yeah. get there. We aren't far off Japan time, but a day behind. Exactly. Well, a day and... So, like, right now, it's 10.50 in the morning, if you, if you look outside over here. Right? Middle of the day. That is outside. Mm -mm. That's not, like, a backlight or anything. So, it's... It's a, it's nice 10:50 in the morning, so you guys are 9:50 or 8:50 p.m. I guess I can't remember which 8:50 p.m. maybe, but yes, very close numbers. By the way, thanks for the collaboration with Satori Reader founder Brian. Ended up getting an annual sub for Satori Reader. Fantastic learning tool. That's awesome. Great. Um, I hope yeah, you uh, you nice. find it useful. It's a very good very good tool, and it seems like a lot of people liked that discussion that I had with with Brian. It seemed mm. to go well. Not a ton of views or anything, but uh, the, the feedback was very positive. You guys are on the other side of that magic line. Yeah, it's crazy. When we go back to America to visit, we leave at like 5.30 p.m. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Japan time at on a Thursday. And we arrive at 5.30 p.m. on a Thursday in the States. So it's kind of wild. But then <laughs> coming back to Japan, we lose a day. Mm. Are you going to have it done for next week, Andy? <laughs> yeah, I'll have it. I'll finish it tomorrow. Um... It'll be done tomorrow. And then hopefully we'll start getting ahead. Uh, 3.50 p.m. or you are. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Nice. Any new videos with Brian in the future? Uh, not in the super near future. We are discussing maybe doing similar stuff again. In, uh, um, similar stuff again. We've done a couple videos already together mm -mm. Uh, that you can find on the channel talking about uh, various things. We've, we've done a, f a few just sort of discussion videos and, and stuff, so... There's a couple of those if you haven't watched those yet. ね、今回のそのグラマーポイントサトリリーダーさんのやつ、日本人は結構気づいてない人いるよね、その。Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said a lot of <laughs> oh, of course they wouldn't notice that it's like special, like sort of special or different from English that we don't have the same expression, but um most people just don't even think about it. It's just so common and natural to um to use it. 
でもされお母さんお母さんがさ冷静に考えると意味不明だね行っ,て<笑>行ってくるって意味不明だねって言ってた、uh, uh, uh. Why do I need to specify that I'm coming back?、ね、行っているのに来るもつけるんだって言ってた、uh, Yuki said her mom she, she watched the video as well she's like、うん、she thought about it for a minute she's like why the heck would we have to say go and come back it makes no sense but、uh, it's, it's kind of convenient and it's、ね、very very normal Also, just watching anime while exercising and notice the grammar patterns. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shows up all the time. And it's cool when you like, learn something new like that and then see it in a real,、um, see it in a real context, like a, a show you're watching or something. My oldest is using your chapter one Genki One video as we speak to review for our Christmas trip to Tokyo. Ooh, that's exciting. Chikara vs. Ka vs. Ka. Ah, no, it's Ka vs. Ka vs. Chikara. It's so annoying. Is there a reason for strength looking identical to katakana ka? I think you have to think about it in the reverse way.、Um, ka looks identical to chikara. The kanji probably came first.、Um, but n- yeah, there's no real reason. It's possible that maybe they, they borrowed the shape from strength.、Mm-hmm. But I mean, in practice, You're not gonna mix those up. Because, like, for example,、uh, de- like, f- let's see, a word that might have a denryoku. So,、mm-hmm. like, if you see this word, you're not gonna think that's the ka, right? And if you say,、uh, katakana, like, if you see this word, you're not gonna think it's chikara tachi,、uh, chikara yugata, chikara, like, yoru, because、mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the same one for ta. Chikara ta, chikara na. You're like, you're not going to think that. So, I mean, just from context, it's not actually that difficult to remember them. That's one of the,、uh, the negatives of learning these things, like, sort of out of context the katakana, hiragana, and、uh, kanji. You don't realize how easy it is to differentiate them in context. That's not true about she and su, though. She and su are.、Mm. Su. でもさたまにその力っていう一文字だけでその文章の中に出る時があるじゃないですか、うんうんうんうん、その時はもうほとんどの時は「か」があるとかは言わないよね「力」一文字で来てる時は絶対にちカタカナあカタカナ漢字の意味になってることが多いから。ああ、いやいや、when it's alone on its own in a sentence, it's そうそう almost always gonna be the kanji. Like you're never just gonna have the katakana ka floating in a sentence on its own. あのうん、特にその「蚊に刺される」を「蚊」ってカタカナで書かない限りは。Right, right, right, right. Even then, you're not going to think you got stabbed by power. うん。力に刺された。言わないよね。It's pretty obvious.、うん、We are in Honolulu. Nice. Yes, I believe Hiragana Katakana we arrived from. <笑>、うん、Kanji. That is correct. 電力の意味は何ですか、はい、?Electric power or electricity. So this. Electric power. This is just literal. I predict people will try to hide a、uh, knife on the quiz or a,、uh, a, ka- a katana. That's in the next lesson. So, katana is、ね、N5. には出ません It does not, but it's going to show up as a part. Ah, so. For wakaru. So, this is not. So, the next, it's part of the kanji. The kanji itself does not show up here, but I will be teaching it as a part in the next lesson. So. Hmm, I guess that's fair. I just haven't built enough fluency to see the context as easily. At the moment, I only recognize a very small number of kanji after all. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll get used to it. Mario Nintendo. Gerusa really likes Nintendo, apparently. I do too. You can see my Game Boy Color 2DS、uh, LL th-、uh, DSi big one, my po- Pikachu 3DS over there. Yeah, so I'm a big fan too. <laughs> Got my, my Nintendo Switch right here.、ね、Yuki's over there. We just played some Pokemon last night. I was playing Pokemon White.、Mm. Really? So, <laughs> yeah, not finished. We have not played Mario Wonder. I didn't even know it existed until it was already out and people were talking about it a little bit. Apparently, it's fun, eh? So, Mario Wonder. It's too fun.、えー、too fun. Interesting. 買ってないんですけど、ね、<笑>コマーシャルも
見てないんですけど。I didn't, I knew nothing about it. Shows how much I watch what's going on lately. All right, guys, why don't we go ahead and jump into the video that is just loading over and over again? Probably because I have it in 4K, which is completely unnecessary for this. We'll just pop this into 1440p and see what happens. Hi. All right. I'm using Tobida in my third year class now, but you helped me through all Genki. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you, made by Armadillo. I'm glad that you found it helpful. Eh, you guys should play together. Perhaps a rare game stream, right? So nanda. We really we haven't done a game stream. Let's see the last time we did a game stream. Pop over here. Andy no arjanai. Tokinigatari janakte. That's our podcast. No, the last game stream was us. We were doing this. Ah, Momotetsu. Momotetsu. Ne ne Momotetsu no sa sekai ban ga deru te commercial de yatte tama. Eh, there's going to be a new Momotetsu. Interesting. Ano world map ban ga deru toyukoto de. Wow. So yeah, we've only actually done eight live streams on our gaming channel. <laughs> I used to do gaming live streams on this channel, but what would happen is they would get recommended to uh, to people who are only interested in Japanese. Which, you know, didn't help. What's going on here? Some of the chats back behind. All right, good. My daughter just reminded me about the banana being on my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I get flack for that all the time. So, ah, こっちの方が遅れてるってことこっちのチャット。こっちの方が早い。あ、なるほどね。All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're going to break it down. It's a pretty long one today. So, Hi. welcome、Boom. to the ninth Tokini Andy Kanji lesson. Today, we're going to cover the meaning, building blocks, writing, historical evolution where applicable, and a story to memorize each of the following kanji. We'll also learn the parts and radicals needed for those、There's、kanji. Three today?、Two. Today, there are three. three new parts. By the way, Stick around to the end of the lesson where we'll be doing a quick quiz to help everything stick. So let's get into it. We're starting off easy today with a pictograph that means field. Field is its own radical, which means it will be showing up in many other kanji where it'll retain this meaning. We can break it down into the three parts mouth, staff, and one, though it's probably not necessary. There are five strokes in field. We、Here's、draw the、one. first vertical line for our mouth. Yeah, remember, like, I usually, when I break it down into parts, I usually use them in the story. But this one's just, this one's so obvious.、Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It doesn't even make sense to, to make a story for this. Enclosure,、one. followed by the second stroke in that enclosure, going west to east and cutting 90 degrees down to the south. While in China, they follow the rules you'd expect from here. Yeah, so, like, when I say expect, I mean, you would expect based on the rules that I covered in that video. About rules that you'd, you'd come down. Let's see, where's, where's the actual video? You, you'd come down here, one, two, and then this one should come next, is what you would expect, right? Side ver, horizontal lines come first, and then the things that cut through them come next. So that's what you'd expect, right? Down, then close it, and that is how they write it in Chinese.、Hmm. But by drawing the、Japanese. horizontal line on the inside of the mouth first, In Japan, kids are taught to draw the vertical staff part next, followed by the final two horizontal lines. You just said why. had to be different.、There's、Historically, this kanji has changed very little, though its official kobun kanji, or old Japanese character, has、I、very little.、Cool、though、too. its official kobun. This one right here looks like, I don't know, it's like a moon or hair flowing off of a weird. あれじゃないそっちがなんか川から水が入ってんじゃないああ、water's coming into the field maybe? I don't know. In kanji or old Japanese character has a bit of flourish on top, which I have to assume is a pitchfork? It was left Interestingly, in the, the lines are supposed to represent the little roads between fields that you'll often see here in Japan. Our story for this one isn't really a story. It's a pictograph, just like it's supposed to be. It's a field <laughs> divided into four plots. Remember that. Yeah, so like. That's pretty easy to remember, right? You got two different plots in a field. This one is actually not very difficult to write for a change.、Hi. We've had, we've had some,、uh, some difficult ones recently, and we will have some difficult ones later in this, this lesson. But field.、Hi. We just got the four strokes. Let's see how Yuki writes it. 
Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Modern kanji are definitely easier to draw, although the old ones are way cooler. Hi. Kaitai yo. Hi. Very nice. Let's see how mine is. My lines are very not straight. No, this straight to Jonoinda. Because I'm, my arm is extended. That's my excuse. <laughs> Woo, that's pretty bad. Oh, I come over here? Okay, let's see. It's a little better when I'm when I actually have have uh, have space. How about when you write it super fast? No, but yeah, buddy, you'll notice when people seem to write it fast, it's always this first line is always above the closing box ah. with a mouth. <laughs> it's always like this, it seems like. It's kind of funny. But yeah, if I'm writing it fast, mine doesn't really change. ここ行ったらこういうことですよ。ライライライ。こういうこと。だからここがさ、ちょっと低くなっちゃうんですけど、でもここがこういう風に来たら、こういうことですよ、こう。うん。で、ここがこういう風に来て、こういうこと。そう
way to study. It's the same. Well, I mean, yeah, the kanji, the kanji in, uh, in, or hanji <laughs> in Kankokugo and Japanese is, uh, is similar. ごめん、私はセニョルセレナの方に言いました。あ、セニョルセレナ。どっちどっちどっち。下下下。下下。ニューエストのやつ。うんぼ。ああ、いろいろとタパート。勉強仕方。うん。インサイドザフィールド。う
Boracay. Oh, I've been. Oh. I was in Boracay in May. I went for there for a uh, friend's wedding. A famous island in the Philippines, but there are too many Koreans here. Mm-hmm. I like them, but how? There were a lot of Koreans in Boracay. Yeah. I was very surprised. Um, now I actually just answered this question to someone else recently, whether they should study Korean and Japanese together. So I do have opinions on this. Let's see what Yuki thinks. Eh. Yuki thinks you can do it. Okay, so I I disagree. Um, I I mean, you can do anything, anything you want. So so someone's argument for um, or not argument. The reason they were thinking that they could learn them together is because so for starters, the grammar is similar. A lot of the vocabulary is borrowed from Chinese, so a lot of the vocabulary is similar. Uh, a lot of the loan words are similar. There's a, like a, like a lot of similarities. So theoretically. It should be mm. easy to uh, learn them together, mm. right? You think? Now, there, I think that's a problem. <gasps> too similar. I think they're too similar. So you're going to mix them up all the time, so which ka. means you'll never actually get good at either one. You're just going <gasps> to you're just going to be learning them together and you're going to be mixing them up and your pronunciation is going to get all mixed up and like it's just going to be a mess. So I think it's fine to learn them both. But I don't think it's going to work well if you do it at the same time. So, ka. You know what I mean? Mm. So, like, it, it's one thing if you, like, take mm-hmm. Japanese and you also learn, like, a language that's completely different from it. I don't know. Uh, French or something. You know, something that has completely different grammar, completely different pronunciation, completely different words, sounds, everything. If you learn two different languages that are completely different, I feel like it will be easier to compartmentalize them. But learning two languages that are super similar together, uh, maybe counterintuitively, I think will lead to more confusion than it's worth. I personally don't think it's it's wise mm-hmm. to learn two languages at a time at all at the same time because you're it takes so so long to get a, good at a language. So that the more you split your attention, like the longer it's going to take. So in the end, it just makes more sense to me to focus on one. ね。Depending on your goals, obviously. If it's like a, if it's just like um, if it's just your hobby, and you don't actually care if you get good at it, mm. then do whatever you want. Um, but if you actually want to become able to communicate effectively in the languages, mm-hmm. then one at a time is probably your best bet, in my opinion. なるほど. Yeah, the Korean alphabet is way easier than Japanese for sure, for sure. But Korean also has kanji. ね、そう。ね、but it's never used officially. But kids do learn it in school, and all their names they have kanji names and stuff like that. So, and that's because they're quite similar. I watched a good video on it recently. Um, uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to pull it up right now, but I watched a good video about the reasons reasons why Korean got rid of kanji and Japanese didn't. It was a pretty good video. Let's see if I can find it later. Uh, learn Japanese in Korean. That's another good. I- that's a good idea, actually. Learn mm-hmm. Japanese first, then learn Korean, or learn Korean first and then learn Japanese in Korean. That could be good. So that's it. That's a good idea. I think I think it's always great to try and learn a second, a third language in the second language. Mm-mm-mm. That can be very effective. All right. Anyway, let's see how Yuki and I would write. Hi. Chikara. I started learning Japanese in two thousand. Two thousand. End of two thousand twelve. So eleven years ago. Nice. There's mine. Ah, it's not as good. Like, ne, school no time no test, de ne, koko ne, koko koko hane nai to ne, test de bat sare chan desu. Ah, so like you can't curve like this. It's got to be more. まあ、カーブだったいいこれだったら多分 OK だと思うんだけどそうここがそうそうこういうふうになってるとあのバツされちゃうんですよ。Right. So it, if it's just straight like this when you're flexing, like yes,、mm. you're not going to get to see the muscle very much. So you have to pull it in like that to really get it to pop. And that's why, that's of course the, the, the reason that this is a bad and this is good. ねえ、ひどいよね。<laughs> Obviously. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess, yes, it's kind of silly that this is so, that people are so anal about this.、Mm. But 
much. Eh. I mean, whatever. Yeah, so. If I was writing this fast, I think it would end up looking like that, although mm -hmm. that's a lot like a ka. So you got to be careful. How about you, Yuki? Nice quick one. Oh, okay, similar. Mm, Although this comes in. うん。うん。もっとこっちに繋がる。ちちちちち繋がる方が長くなるかも。なんか丁寧に書けばね。あ、丁寧に書く。丁寧に書けばここがこういう風になってからこっちを書けるんだけど。I think when I write it I definitely write this part. 早く書くと this part more like curved. I don't I don't really cut it. I go like that. こういう風になるかな? Mm. Yeah, yeah, something like that. It's nice. All right, there's a couple good ways to um to write this one. Hi. Um the main one would obviously be chikara. Chikara. You could also do ryoku, but that is uh there's a lot of different things that are going to pop up first for there. You might get green, you might get other things. So I would just do we'll do chikara or tikara. Tikara. So chikara ka Ryoku will show up for a lot of people first. It shows up first for me. でも一応あのさっきさ、小さいさ、良かさ、大きい良かさ、なんかあのちょっと困ってたみたいだから書いと一回書きますね。いや。このちっちゃいようでお願いします。R Y O K you. So the keystrokes aren't too different, especially if you use T. Mm -hmm. But either one is fine. Chikara will definitely show up first. That's the only thing I can definitely say. I just write Chikara and hope nobody notices that it's Ka. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one to tell the difference from during ne. the quiz. Probably, probably not possible, depending on the font. The font over here is... Yeah, no, they're exactly the same. <laughs> Ro said, I, I actually tried studying both Korean and Japanese at the same time, but then came a time when I was too busy with work and personal li life, so I had to choose. Now I'm in a more intermediate level of Korean and feel comfortable about it, so I'm back to picking up Japanese again. I'm learning both, but at different levels, if that makes sense. Fair enough. Tokini, when did you, did you actually get good at Japanese within the 12 years? 11 years, I'd say. Um, like... A couple weeks ago, probably, is when I started getting really good, I think. <laughs> no. Um, I felt comfortable in conversations within a year. Uh, I felt comfortable in conversations with multiple natives and just me as the only foreigner within three years. And I started feeling like I liked the sound of my Japanese when I heard it recorded, like, two or three years ago. So, uh, it's a constant process. Hmm. Kanji and Hangul are ideograms. Kana are a syllabary. Alphabet are based on Greek Latin characters. Since the name alphabet just to split hairs. Fair enough. It appears first when I type Diki. Oh, there's another one. That's, so a, that's a good one too. Diki is good. Yeah, Diki is a good one. I just write Diki. Diki. Diki will also be first. That's actually a really good one. That might be the easiest. That's the shortest one. Diki. Good. Call who was that? Pollux. Yeah, Pollux. That's a good one. That will get it to show up first, I imagine. Let's lock that down. All right, let's jump back over to the video and Friend, move along. No. Flexing. The image of true strength. Flex your arm and hit the like button. It helps me get stronger. Did you man up and hit the subscribe button after I, I hitting the like button? During this video. Or are you already the man and subscribe to this channel? Well, regardless, this kanji means man. Man's official radical is field. Get back in the field, man. We can break man down further into field and strength, which you could probably already see. There are seven strokes in man all of which follow the same order as the respective parts. We draw the first vertical line for our mouth enclosure, followed by the second stroke in that enclosure, going west to east and cutting down 90 degrees to the south. We then draw the staff and two horizontal lines, closing up the field. Next, we draw the flexing arm in strength, making sure to curl it in a bit, followed by the no part, finishing it off. Make sure to connect the no part to the field. Now, I said to connect it, but to be fair, 
If we go back, that's not connected. Part. Finishing it off. <laughs> the pen Make is sure not connected. Make sure to connect the no part to the field. <laughs> and you'll see that the actual diagram in the lesson is not really connected either. So it's not like the end of the world if it's not connected. Historically, this appears to have always been the flexing arm indicating strength combined with a field. In Japan, men have always been the ones to work in the field, I guess. Although, in modern Japan, it's the old grandmas out there doing the work a lot of the time. To be fair, I think this is just because they're the ones that live the longest. And the, the old guys have all moved along, moved on, and the grandmas are still here. So they're the only ones there to work in the field. For our story, we have, When asked how he became such a strong man, our flexing no said he owed all of his strength to working in the fields. Work. Work. <laughs> all right. This is a... Uh... I don't know. I like I like this kanji. I think it's it looks like a guy. It, it, this, you could just look at this. It's like a guy flexing even. Like this is his weird face. Weird, yeah. Angular face and then flexing. Or something like that. Or or you could think of someone walking. I don't know. I always saw a guy walking with a weird squarish head. I just picked up Genki 1 and I really appreciate your Genki playlist. That's awesome, Aaron. I'm glad that it's helping. Kobikito has been studying Japanese in college for almost two years. It's been a hustle. Yes, it takes a while. All right, let's see how Yuki draws this one with a marker. Hi. Yuki, naze itsumo kana to ka? Takusan I do too, actually, when I speak Japanese. I don't say it much in English, no. Uh, so it means, I guess, or... Um, I wonder. I wonder. Or... A, lot of, a lot of it is like, I guess. Uh, I guess it's something, I something. So like, <laughs> it does sound like, yeah, you're not confident in your answer. But that's not you, I don't think. I think that's, um, that's, a, that's like a... <laughs> it's like part of Japanese. Yeah. Yes, it softens it, which is a very important thing when speaking Japanese, especially to people that aren't like super close to you. Or if you're thinking you're saying something that is not like 100% fact, you're not like asserting that this is the case. You're saying, I guess it's sort of this way is even more common than in English. Mm. In English, even if we're not like 100% positive about something, it's quite common for us to just state it as if it's a fact. Um like I am right now. <laughs> but in Japanese, that's not as, as common. So, Here's mine. So, you say, study, what do Presentation, Ah, yes. So, she just said, like, in a speech or in a presentation or something, you're not going to be like, Kana. Kana. Nobody will listen to you. So, you gotta say this. <laughs> I think this one might be good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> and when you're teaching and stuff, you're probably not going to hear a teacher at the front of the class saying, mm. maybe once in a while, like if they're not 100% sure about something. Mm -mm -mm. But, uh, yeah, very common. Let's see how Yuki draws this one fast. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Toadfish. Hi. Appreciate that. Wow. He's got a spiky, some spiky hair, like an, an antenna coming off the back of his head there. I'll try and write it the same way. But I have to actually go slow to, like, make it look good that way. Ooh. There's my fast one. Uh, that was a super fast, super fast field on top there. Mm. Uchikara looks pretty clean there. Wow. I don't think I can write this one fast like that. Definitely going to be like that. For me. Yeah, if you write it, yeah, tens of thousands of times, that'll happen. You probably haven't written it tens of thousands of times. I bet. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder right. how many times like I've written the letter A. I bet you it's maybe tens of thousands of times. Not that much. What do you Kawaii. think? <laughs> <laughs> Fast kanji is the bane of my existence. Impossible to read. 
Yes, but if you think about it, so like if you look at the way, can you write that quickly? Hayat, One more hayat. time. Yeah, fast. Ah. So like, if you know the stroke order, you can clearly tell that it starts here, right? Because mm. that's like sticking out. And then just looking at the way the curves are, like she was, like you, this curves here. You can see that it's coming up here, even though you got this little X in the middle. You can see that this this stroke over here is coming before this line, mm -hmm. this one right here, because of the way that it curves in. Mm. And then this one is clearly last because it's such a like a definitive mm. boom, it's done. Um, this is one of the more obvious ones, obviously, but um, just knowing the stroke order, I think, can help you sort of decipher that. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, easy way to write this one, of course, is the word for for guy, for man. O to ko. Hi. O to ko. O to ko. Ka. Dan. ka nan wa dou ka na. Ah, dan. Mm. Dan is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ah. eleventh. Nope, definitely otoko. 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 Andy is studying pitch accent right now, so don't mind me as I say things over and over again trying to get it right. Otoko ga. No, wait, is it otoko ga? Mm, that one. Yeah, but there are restaurants that use it for menus, and when you combine them all, it becomes very rough. Yeah, <laughs> handwritten menus can be a, a trip for sure, especially when it's like fish, mm -hmm. different fish kanji are like have a million strokes. So figuring out which fish it is in the menu can be a little bit difficult. Oh, Dan got it. Excuse oh. me, in one for five total up there. Nan wa do nan. 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 One, two. Five. Ah. Nan got it in five for me. Dan Street Fighter Dan, is that his name? <laughs> oh, could be. Just mm -hmm. man. All right. Let's jump back over to the video. We made it three kanji before having to. Oh, I did not. Yeah, no, I switched. Okay. Learn a new part. But alas, here we are. We're going to call this non radical part the ku part because it looks exactly like a hiragana ku. It's not a radical or kanji, just a part, so no radical. And its only part is gonna be the ku hiragana, though it's sometimes a little more stylized or angled when in actual kanji. So this is what it looks like in the next kanji and mm -hmm. a lot of other kanji it shows up in. Um, so it's a, you can see it's sort of like seated back. She's got her back sort of yeah, like she's sitting down and leaning forward a little bit. Japanese people do refer to this part as kudo, especially when they learn the next kanji we're going to learn. It has one stroke that is written in exactly the same way as the hiragana ku. And mm -hmm. this is Yuki's hiragana. So I, I actually pulled the video for the hiragana video we were working on. So this is, this is just the hiragana ku. Starting at the top and cutting back to the right from around the middle. For our and this one's leading back a little bit, you can mm -hmm. see. Yeah. The hiragana would actually cut back right around here. But this part often cuts back like below the middle line. Story, we're gonna use a Japanese word, though we'll likely not do this again for quite a while. It was just too perfect to pass up. Koo man likes to coo. Our mm -hmm. version of Pac-Man is called Koo man because, well, look at his mouth. And uh, so yeah, Koo, if you write it in kanji, looks like I'll just show you guys because you'll probably see it sometimes and wonder why there's a oo after that kanji, but that's what it looks like. Ku. Ku is a very informal version of the word to eat. So, ku man likes to eat is another way you could memorize this. All right, ku man likes to eat. Let's see how to eat. So, ku man likes to Pop eat is another way you could memorize this. All right, let's... Oh, wait, we don't do the parts. So, so. We don't do the parts. Un, un We're good. There's another way you can right memorize right this. Bringing us to the first kanji because that uses cool. the I like ku it. character, and which even Japanese people will recognize ku as being a part of. Ganbare nikia, says Senor Serena. I agree. Keep it up. This one means woman. The official radical for woman Ooh. is itself. Woman. This is fair because it's a very common radical in other kanji. We can break it down into ku, no, and one. 
Japanese people use the mnemonic or just the names ku no ichi、mm-hmm. to remember this kanji and its stroke order, as ichi means one. And also, it rolls off the tongue better than ku no fluorescent worm. It does. There are three strokes in woman, which combined with the seven of man gives us a perfect ten. Don't mind, Don't mind me. me. We first write the ku as mentioned before, though it's sort of leaning back a little. Next, no cuts through that. Finally, we write the horizontal one above both of those. Above the cu- Look at those tiny legs. Cut back in ku and just below the start of no. This kanji looks deceptively simple, but、Female、it's、ninja. actually incredibly、mm. difficult to write in a balanced, nice looking way. I'm terrible at it. So Fun、bad. anecdote Brian Rack, the creator of Satori Reader, actually writes it perfectly. I was super surprised when I watched him casually write it in person once during a video we were shooting together. I couldn't find the footage of it. I, I believe there is footage of it, but I remember he wrote it. It was during this video, the one where it was like,、uh, we did like a quiz show basically, with me and Brian against Yuki and her sister. And、um, he wrote woman next to、mm-hmm. me. And we wrote it. I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. I've never been able to write it like this. Oh, yeah, I used to. He said he used to have a pen pal、uh, mm-hmm. in Japan. When he was in college or something, and he would write a lot of letters by hand, and that's how he got good at it. I was surprised when I watched him casually write it in person once during a video we were shooting together. Historically, this was a pictograph of a kneeling woman with her arms folded in front of her. Stern look on her face. Okay, I made up the stern look part, but honestly, I don't see the kneeling part in any of these.、Uh, how many times have you rewatched this to remember that line? Well, I edit these videos, so. A lot. <laughs> I make the edit and I have to rewatch it to make sure I didn't make any mistakes multiple times. So,、uh, a lot. This one looks more like a Gundam pose or something, doesn't it? <laughs>、uh, Gundam. Gundam in Tokyo, let's see.、Uh, images. Look, look at that. So, you, you don't, like, come on. This one? This one? Ah, this one? <laughs> yeah, okay. Take, take a look at that. Look at that! Come on. Is that just me? I feel like the one in.、Uh, where is this? Where's the. Is it s h i b u t h i t y no, no. This one. From a different angle. I feel like that's what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but. <laughs> Our story for a woman is. Ku, no, and Ichi, the fluorescent worm, stack up and dress as a woman strutting down the runway. So, visually, I see that this is kind of messy, maybe hard to see. You've got that our Ku character from before, threw on a dress in his mouth, and we've got these guys stacked together so they, get in, they can get into, like, I don't know, some fashion show or something. Is the story I imagine in my mind. They're like, we want to we be part of this, and like old cartoon characters stacking、mm-hmm. up with each other and throwing on a dress to look like an adult.、Uh, that's what I was imagining here. I'm sure you could come up with some better stories, but I wanted to.、Um, I wanted to incorporate the Japanese mnemonic, kunoichi. Because I heard Yuki say that one time. I was, when, we, when I first was breaking down the parts, she was like, ah, like, kunoichi. I was like, eh, what's that? She's like, that's the parts for this. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> kunoichi. I wonder if Naruto, it's a Naruto reference or if the Naruto character is a reference to this. ナルトよりもっと前のその女の忍者のトライブみたいなのをクノイチと言っていたと思います。Okay, there used to be an old woman tribe of ninjas called クノイチ。まずその私が小さい時にやってたニータマランタロウという忍者の学校のアニメがあるんですけど、それは女の子の忍者のことはクノイチという。Hey, so, there was a show that she used to watch when she was a kid called what? What was it called? Ninta Marantaro.、Mm. And、uh, the ninja group. Class, so, girl ninja group the girls' ga- ninja group was called、mm. Kunoichi. So, 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 so.、Mm. Okay, so that's pre Naruto. Pre Naruto. So, so. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. So, anyway, I, wanna, I wanted to incorporate that idea into the story. Detecta. <laughs> Detecta. <laughs> The artist of this picture. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Don't forget to add your own stories for these kanji in the comments, by the way. Maybe you'll have something better for this one that others can also use. 
Yes, we always like to get stories from you guys if we can. So let us know. By the way, if you've got maybe something you'll have something better. better for this one. All right, let's pop over to the Hi. pew. Let's see if I can try to write this better than usual. I'm so bad at this kanji. So, I've worked. I've tried to write this a million kanji. times. Mm. Can't Hi. do it. Hey, right, let's see, Yuki's. Mm, I see you do that straight. Oh, that's very oh, nice. That's a good one. Well, we got a little long. Okay, let's see how terrible mine is. Here we go. Okay, this is what always happens. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Well, it's like I got like an arched back. Let me try that again. Uh, I already, I already see this one's gonna suck. This is what it, yeah, so bad. I see. So this is gonna be more straight, like uh, like this. So it's better not to think of it like a perfect ku. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so you want the back to be kind of straight. Okay, so like that one that I showed earlier. So, so, so. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit, a little bit too long on the top, but. Okay, I think I figured that out. Keep the back nice and straight. See, I'm still lurk. I'm still learning. <laughs> Ew, what is that, Andy? <laughs> the senor serena. Yeah. You can definitely see it kind of evolving into a related kanji, though. Mm. Wow, that was a fast one. No, go, go for it. Fast girl. Wow. What is that? Oh, that's actually. Well, that's boom. That's what my fast one is up in. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, let me let me try try a normal mm -hmm. one one more time. Hmm. Ma. It's hard. Mm. So hard. It's 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 funny because like I can write I can write more complicated kanji much nicer. But mm. this one is like my ba the bane of my existence. Mm. Oh, I'm way off screen here. あ、ごめんなさい。いや。感じ said that kanji that have less strokes are actually harder in general to get good balance on. So it's quite normal. I guess. Yeah, like the the more complicated they get, like you're drawn in tinier areas, so it gets a little bit maybe easier to keep it in the square. Harder to mess up maybe, I don't know. Interesting. One that others can also use. Oh, right. We didn't actually teach you how to type it yet. Juju. Onna. That one will definitely show up first for you. Jo. Jo, maybe. Jo with just the... It's Oh, yeah. That one showed up first for me. So, jo or onna. We'll get that to show up for you pretty quickly. Jolt was first for me, so that's probably the quickest way for uh, me to type it. Mm, that will help you write it nice and quickly. Joe works if you prime it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's one thing to keep in mind with typing. Like, even if it doesn't show up first for you the first time, when you choose it, it should show up first the next time. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. All right, back over to the video. This part is a non-official radical that used to be a kanji, meaning left hand. It's usually used as a hanging over enclosure now. It does not have an official. Fun thing I didn't mention in this, it looks a lot like the katakana na, but na is more like right from the middle that, that one goes over. Like na is probably comes from here, that one. But it does look very similar to that. But usually used as a hanging over enclosure now. It does not have Hi. Uh, Yuki's gonna be right back. Have an official radical. But it's made up of a one and no part. 
The stroke order for this part sometimes depends on the kanji that it shows up in, or what part it's hung over top of. We're going to go with drawing the one first, followed by the no part, which is, I believe, how the original kanji was written. Right, so in some kanji, this will... So for, um... So for the kanji for write, you start... You write it differently. So like one... Depending on what's under here, the, the order may be different. Today, the only time we're going to use it, we're going to start from the one, but there are some that start like that. So just keep that in mind. I will definitely mention it during the video whenever that happens. It'll be written no first though, so keep that in mind. Historically, this was a kanji. The end. For our story, we have no is holding a fluorescent worm. In uh -oh. For our story, we have I messed this one up. Look at that. I have the wrong, the wrong image there. Oops. No is holding a fluorescent worm in its left hand. See, it doesn't matter how many times I watch the video. Something sometimes sneaks through. No is holding <laughs> a fluorescent worm. We'll just picture it. He does the Chikara thing and then he pulls his arm up like that. Worm in its left hand. This is actually a kanji, but it's not taught until JLPT N1 and Kanken level 3, so we're bringing it up here just as a radical for the next kanji. I chose the meaning of a, a reason that I think that this one is not um, taught until N1 and Kanken level 3 is not because the word like mata is very rare, but because it's very uncommon to write it as the kanji. Like it's more commonly written as hiragana. So that's why this one isn't taught very, very early on as a kanji and why we're only covering it as a part for now. Again, because in modern Japanese, where I seem to see it the most Welcome is back. in the word again. Senor Serena said, Itarashai Yuki. But I do feel like I missed an opportunity with this one because officially, when used as a radical, it has the meaning of to carry, grab, or take, or right hand. Yeah, so, um, interesting. When I started um, researching for this series and creating everything, I, um, I'm out of this, yo. Uh, no, when I started the research and stuff, I. I used a bunch of different resources, but recently I picked up um, a bunch of dictionaries on my 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 uh, my Mac and on my phone, and I, so I was able to like research a little bit more with like official kanji dictionaries and stuff like that. And I was using like official online kanji dictionaries, but not like you know hard copies. And this is sort of copies of hard copies. So when I searched this kanji. Like, since I've gotten this kanji dictionary, probably around lesson six or seven, I've been finding out more things because there's lots of extra, like, information in here. So when I read through this, it says that, uh, Migi te o nobaste mono o toro to shteiru kata ni kata dori motsu susumeru migi nado, migi nado no i o arawas. So basically what it's saying is it's the image. It was created as the image of a right hand reaching out to pick something up. So I found this dictionary is, um, is going to be like super useful in the future for researching these videos mm -hmm. because I've already done a ton of research and I, I, you know, I tried to pick meanings and stuff for everything that I thought was um, appropriate based on what I had at my hand at the time. But um, now that I have this sort of official kanji dictionary, I'm finding that like there's some sources don't have the same same information and having these more detailed uh, descriptions of the meaning of the kanji and stuff is going to be really helpful. So if I had this dictionary when I first created the Yankee deck and chose all the meanings for everything for this level, I probably would have chosen right hand for this. I probably would not have chosen again. So, but it's already in the deck and uh, hundreds of people have already done it. So I'm leaving it as it is for now. But in the future, I'm going to be a little bit more thorough now that I have multiple dictionaries. I have multiple kanji dictionaries. I, I'm just broadening my, my sources as we go forward. So it's going to get more and more pinpointed as we go which makes it a perfect companion to our last part and would be super useful in the story for the next kanji. Welcome, Screen Do. I'm glad that you've been enjoying the Genki series. I did not choose this, though, and I'm regretting it a little now. 
but it's already in the Anki deck on Tokenandy.com, so I'm just letting you know that right hand is also a perfectly reasonable meaning you could use for this kanji and your own stories. It is a radical, but also a kanji, so its official radical is itself. Remember, we won't be learning any words for this at this level, so we're not really going to worry about this right now. We could break this down quite easily into a foo part and backwards no though. There are two strokes in exactly that order. The foo part is written exactly like a katakana fu, and then the backwards no cuts through it, starting from just below the start of the fu part. Another reason that I sort of regret not choosing right arm or right hand for the meaning of this kanji is that historically it was a pictograph of just that, a right hand, of an alien of course. Anyway, Clearly. for our story, Fu and No attempt to make this kanji many times. The director keeps screaming, again, again, as no they good. mess it up. Finally, you see the shark here, finally creating this kanji. Maybe as an added bonus, you can imagine the director holding a clapperboard in his right hand. Except, of course, he's holding it in his left hand here. Maybe, maybe you're looking in a mirror. The camera's mirroring everything, that's all. <laughs> the idea behind this story is that they're sort of playing charades and trying to create this kanji with their bodies. I, I tried to, like, I feel like this should be easy to make a, oh, there we go. Now I got it. I feel like that. There's the camera. You put the foo in the I was trying to do that on camera while I was recording, and I just it couldn't work out, but it, it gave me a good little clip there. Looking at this kanji and knowing that it means friend, you may start to see even more why I think right hand is another great meaning for our last part. Again, Andy, you're really going to bring this up again? A combination of left hand and right hand could be friends holding hands or a million other stories. But anyway, the, uh, quickly, people are talking about right and left. And yeah, I am. Um, that is a great way to remember them. So right is like this mm -hmm. and left is like this. So uh, that's what I was talking about, how some kanji, this hangover part is going to be stroke order is going to be different depending on the kanji. Sin. Uh, some resources consider this to be a different part, uh, but most do consider the it to be the same. So. I do, uh, and Meets the Fish, I think, mentioned it. Uh, think of it this way, is for right, you start on the right, and you would never write a horizontal stroke like that. So the only one that could possibly start from the right is a diagonal line, which means you start here for right, on the right, and then you write the rest. And for left, you start on the left. Like that, eh? So yeah, definitely the easiest way to remember that is where you start, where you start. Anyway, back to the video. The official radical of friend is again, or right hand. The parts are left hand and again. There are four strokes in friend. We start with the one in left hand and follow it with a no. It encloses or hangs over again beneath it. We draw that in exactly the order you'd expect. Foo followed by the backwards no. Interestingly, this kanji used to be two right hands instead of a left and right hand. Or maybe they just really, really didn't like left hands back then. Would explain why kanji is so difficult to write in the correct stroke order for left-handed people without putting tons of holes in the paper. Anyway, I feel bad for you guys. Um, when writing kanji like this that are very similar, how important is stroke order? Would it be terrible to write them the same? Um, You'll see that the like it's a little bit different. You'll see that they can you write right and left for us, Yuki? Hmm. Right. So it's not it like it's not a huge issue. Mm. Um if you get it wrong. Definitely not. But with that said, you will notice some subtle differences here. Yuki probably doesn't even think about that. I bet she can't e I don't even know if she'd pick it up, but because of the stroke order here, you're moving, you see how that moves up and how the line here is sort of a little bit curved like this, whereas this one is different. It's sort of like that and coming back around. Um, so uh, someone who's has a well-trained eye can probably tell if you get this wrong. Uh. Is it a big deal? No, someone will be able to read it. Will you get marked wrong on a test if you're in school in Japan? Yes. 
you will be marked wrong. If you take the Kanken test, the official kanji mm-hmm. uh, test, will this question be on it? Mm. Almost definitely. And if you get it wrong, the answer will be wrong. Mm-hmm. Now, practically, every day, is it a big deal? Probably not. Now, when you write them fast, once again, this is in a future lesson. Actually, a couple lessons from now, not too far. Um, when you write it fast, let's see how, how different they are. Let's have Yuki write qu- pretty quickly. こんな感じで、ちょっとあのフッツにナチュラルナチュラルで自然で考えずにオッケーアンデンレフトあ、間違えたこれともになっちゃうとこだったんですねいやうんもうワンスアゲンなな、なだヒュージディフェンスバイユ
Then Get press your keyboards play ready. and see if you were right. The best way to remember kanji you just learned is to search your memory for the story we taught you or the one you made based on the English word on the flashcard. Our first card is woman. Woman. Let's see who can get that one first. Get your typing oh. fingers ready. And meets the fishes in first place. Carson Avery. What What changed? Hello World is in third. Pollock's in fourth. Ah, so, 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 so. Five Toad Sloth Bear in fifth. Yeah, I changed the order to keep people on their toes, although they'll be able to get the last one. Oh, only five people remembered how to write woman? Oh, yeah, yeah. That seems unlikely with 50 people here right now. Emmy Sufficient Firth, Carson Avery in second, Hello World in third, and Pollux in fourth with Five Toad Sloth Bear coming in fifth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, close. That is a way you could get it to show up as well. Jose. Jose. Lamey the Clown is in sixth with Ro in seventh, Amanda Nordstrom in eighth, Grammy in ninth, Ronzi in tenth. I was distracted, so Lamey the Clown, yeah, no worries. Uh, some of you may be a little bit behind on the live stream. If that is the case, hover your finger or your mouse over the word live and click that. That will get you up to the moment. I was busy cleaning some 3D prints and had my hands covered in liquid resin. Ugh, ah. what a terrible excuse. <laughs> Just kidding. Nikia is in 11th place. Excellent job, guys. Okay, moving over to our first. That's what they always say. Moving over to our first random kanji for this one. Oh, can you erase that one? Thank you. Mixing, mixing, mixing. All right, let's see. This one is from last week, I believe. Here we go. You ready? Hand. Our first random kanji for today is hand. Let's see who can get that one first. Hi. Whoa, oh. that was fast. Pollux is in first with 72 Al Sabi in second. End meets the fish in third. Hello world in fourth. Carson Avery in fifth. Lamey the clown in sixth. All right. Good job, guys. Five to Slop in seventh. Senor Serena <laughs> throws in the emoji, the English kanji for te. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Velocity Cupcake is in eighth. Mohammed Tangestani is in ninth. And Do is in tenth. A very good job, guys. All right. Hi. Up to the middle. Oh, Amanda Nordstrom gets in there in 11th place for hand. And Don's uh, Grammy is in 12th. And Donzi is in 13th. Good job, guys. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the regular quiz one. I have to show you this. Next is man. All right, pause that. Man. Pollux is in first. Okay, fast today. Nice job. And meets the fish in second. Carson Avery in third. Hello world in fourth. 72 Al Sabi in fifth. Senor Seren in sixth. Five Toads Love Bear in seventh. Ro in eighth. Lamy the Clown in ninth. Ronzi in tenth. Margot Coleman Grammy in eleventh. Let's see how much higher my... Oh, that's it. That's as high as my voice will go. Velocity Cupcake is in twelfth. Hi. Place. Good job. Otoko gets you that one fast. Okay, we're going to have Yuki Hi. pick the next. Oh, let's go ahead and see what that was. There we go. And we'll move over to this screen. And Yuki's going to pull out our next one. Kore ni shimasu. Kore ni shimasu. She's not picking. Oh. Oh. Yo. <laughs> We've got a nice easy one here. You ready? <laughs> Hi. Amanda Nordstrom's in there and Nikia as well. Make sure you're up to the moment in the live stream by clicking that live button. Hi. Here we go. The next three. Hi. Three is our next random word. That one should be easy. No? We'll see. We weren't teaching you how to type them back then. I don't Did we? Pollux is in first. Then meets Fish in second. 72 else having third. Let me go on in fourth. Carson Avery in fifth. Ro in sixth. Senor Serena in seventh. Hello World in eighth. And Velocity Cupcake in ninth. With the word, you can type this one by typing some. Hmm. Five Toes Law Fair is in tenth place. Very good job, guys. All right. Easy one. Right. Yeah. Easy one. Ne. All right, moving back over to the quiz. Just a few more. Here's strength. 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 
72 Alasabi is in first with Pollux in second and meets the fish in third. Row in fourth. Carson Avery in fifth. Lamy the Clown in sixth. Five Toad Sloth Bear in seventh. Hello World in eighth. Senor Sutton in ninth. Velocity Cupcake in tenth. Someone's definitely typed Ka in there, but that's okay. Donzi is in eleventh. Margo Coleman in twelfth. All right, very good job. I wonder if I can tell the difference. Nah, there's no way. Some of the some of the katakana in in powers um, are easier to tell apart than others in font, but chikara and ka are identical. Identical. I can't remember. Is this? Is this? I can't remember how to write this. I can't remember how to read this one, but I like that. It doesn't even show. Up. I have no idea how to read this one. The one with three chikaras in it. Chikara will actually get you the muscly arm. Indeed. I got you. Yumi-chan never lies to me. Oh, yeah. Those do look a little bit different there. Chikara. Ka. Well, that one's definitely a smaller. Ka. F7. Uh, mm, okay. You can tell them a little bit different there. That one's more angled. The ka is the one on the right. It's a little bit more angled. Let's see who tried to sneak past. Mm, I still can't tell in isolation. Interesting. Kyo. Anyway, let's pop that one up on screen. There it is. All right, moving over to our next random one. It's my Hi. turn to pick. I know how to write it, but I never practice typing them. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of weird that that kanji doesn't actually appear to be used in Japanese. It still have readings. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there are words that it exists in, I'm sure. So it's just they're probably not coming. Hmm. Interesting. You could always use your Apple Pencil, Grammy, and you can just write. If your keyboard is in Japanese, if you just write it, it will show up for you in chat. You just write it on the screen. Our next word is country. <gasps> country. <gasps> Let's see. You can remember that one. Our first person. Get that one is going to be. Oh. And meets the fish in first. Pollux in second. 72 Alsabi in third. Carson Avery in fourth. Hello World in fifth. Lemmy the Clown in sixth. Senor Serena in seventh. Five Toast Law Fair in eighth. Row in ninth. Bronzy in tenth. Velocity Cupcake in eleventh. I don't think there's any sneaky ones in there. Yeah, that one's hard to sneak past. There's no there's no weird ones there. <laughs> Although someone might have tried to use one of the, the, uh, the other. There, there are variations of this kanji. So for Kuni could do like uh like this one that is read the same way and wow. grammy gets there as well in 11th this would technically be correct right so the old one all right very good job popping over to Hi. the video our next one is and then there's friend <laughs> hey stop Print Hello World. Hiya! Pollux in first, and meets the fish in second, 72 Alsavi in third, Carson Avery in fourth, excuse me. Lay me the clown in fifth. Hello World says Tomodachi, Senor Serena in sixth, Amanda Nordstrom in seventh, Five Toast Sloth Bear in eighth, and Margo Komen in ninth. Snail, welcome to the quiz. You're in tenth place on this one. Excellent job. All right. Oh, Hello World is also there in eleventh. I see. That's where the print Hello World was there from there. I see. <laughs> that was my first program in basic as well on an what was it a 386 that was the type of computer nike is there in 12th good job let's see what that one looked like it is boom okay pause that one yuki's gonna be picking our next Hi. random kanji oh you are correct very good interestingly the font um the the again part is is literally within the uh the hangover part. That's interesting. In writing, it's definitely below it. You can see here. But the font is is clearly on the inside. It's Hi. funny how font and, and written words are different. Oh, I, I, you know what? Hold on one second. I was showing people that. How it's hanging down below, but the font is actually inside. Okay, anyway. Yuki's. Yuki's. Here we go. Hi. 
Ear! This one showed up on one of the quizzes I've been popping over onto the community tab. I think people have been liking those. Hi have you been enjoying those? That was Hi Fast Polix. Is in first. Enemy the Hi fish in yo. second. 72 Alsavi in third. Carson Avery in fourth. Hello World in fifth. Lamey the Clown in sixth. Five Toast Love Bear in seventh. Ro in eighth. A very good job. Nobody tried to sneak in an eye there. Grammy in ninth. Very good. Velocity Cupcake in tenth. Excellent. Hi. I'm surprised nobody yes, tried to sneak in an eye. No. The answer was actually too obvious. That was the actual answer. <laughs> yes, that is definitely a part of to listen. Lay me the clown, you are correct. Amanda Norsherm, that is also correct. Five does love bear snuck in an eye eyeball there. The answer is five. <laughs> Alright, back over to the actual Finally quiz. we have Field. Field. Field is our next to last quiz question. And meets the fish is already there with field. Oh my goodness. I feel like you had that typed in already. Pollux is in second. Carson Avery in third. Lamy the Clown in fourth. Five Toast Lot Bear in fifth? Fifth. Amanda Nordstrom in sixth. Hello World in seventh. Senor Sedena tried to sneak through a mouth. Grammy is in eighth. <laughs> Roe is in ninth. I usually only get community quotes from people I'm not sub to. I could only imagine getting random kanji quizzes in my recommendations and deciding to learn kanji because of it. We'll see. <laughs> It's been a lot of people who are subbed, I think, answering them, but definitely some new people as well. Um, I've been enjoying those community posts. I actually have mm -hmm. a bunch scheduled. I have two a day. One is the the poll one that has the pictures of the stroke order, and one is the is a qu actual quiz, which is 10.30 p.m. <laughs> Yuki is apparently also doing them as well. Good job, guys. There's Field. All right. Moving over to our last ah, random. Is it me for this one? Harvest on the whole last ticket. I saw five toes love bear popping out the wheat. Ah, Tanaka. Tanaka san. <laughs> Tanaka san. Sneaky today with the end. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I thought it might catch off a few people, but I wasn't sure. I was surprised how many. I think like 19% of people answered that one. So, no. Hmm, let's see. I'll pop over. I'll jump over to the, uh, to the quiz from today. View your channel. Oops. All right, guys. Let's see. I'll pop this up on the screen. Let's go to the community posts. And yeah, 19% of people answered that the yen symbol, the symbol for yen, <gasps> was the kanji. Which parts make up the kanji for yen? The symbol is this. But it's, it's actually not because the lines are both identical length. To the top one is shorter, right? But this was actually, of course, the answer. Only 79% got that correct. That that was a nice, tricky one. Mm. This one was a little bit easier. Uh, today's one was obviously pretty simple. Although, still 6% weren't sure. So, that is interesting. All right. So, our last Hi. random kanji for today is... And Maru, yes, yes, because... They can have a similar meaning, eh? Nah. Oh. All right. This one's not so difficult either. <laughs> Yuki wants to do one more, too. Here we go. This one is... Ja -ja! Eight! Eight is our second to last, because Yuki wants to throw in a bonus. Eight. You're welcome, though. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Lots more to come. And meets the fish is there in first. Lady the Clown tried to sneak in. Aha! Pollux is in second. Ha. Carson Avery in three. <laughs> Amanda Nordstrom in fourth. <laughs> Carson Avery in three, I said. Amanda Nordstrom in fourth. 72 Alice Abbey in fifth. Five Toads Loth Bear in sixth. Snail in seventh. Margot Gret Coleman in eighth. Lady the Clown in ninth. Ronzi in tenth. Velocity Cupcake in eleventh. Do in twelfth. Mm. And Nikia in 13th hello world in 14th wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't it be grand welcome to the quiz i like that you tried to draw a ha with two uh what you might call it <laughs> very good <laughs> honest misclick this time fair enough Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's uh english kanji english kanji from Five Toad Sloth Bear. Hi. All right, you guys did very well on that one. Yuki's going to pick one more out for you today. Ooh. Oh. Not bad. Oh, Yuki <laughs> almost didn't know how to write this one for a second. Here we go. The last one. It's Jewel. Jewel. 
これちょっと難しいよね。A little bit difficult. Some people could try and sneak in a, a king to this one,、mm. for sure. Lamy the、oh. oh, Pol- Polux and Lamy the Clown claim in at exactly the same moment. Polux in first, Lamy the Clown in second, Carson Avery in third, Hello World in fourth, and Meets a Fish in fifth, No in sixth, 72 Al Sabi in seventh, Five Toads Lot Bear in eighth. <laughs> I don't see any kings in there. Margaret Coleman in ninth. Very good job. Any more? All right. Oh, yeah. Nobody tried to sneak in a king. Very good. Yuki you, 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 you wants to sneak in a king. Fair enough. I have to think because I first learned that one as ball. Yes, ball is another meaning you could definitely use for this one. Hi. Yuki snuck in a king there. That is not drool. That is king. <laughs> yes. There you go. Tama is probably the easiest way to write、mm. it, yes. Yep.、And、technically, for gold,、um, king is not a part of it. Technically, it's not because those lines are actually different lengths. The one on top is shorter for gold, the one in the middle is the longest, which is exactly the opposite of king. Um, so it's actually, I taught that one as a one on top with dirt beneath it. Dirt or soil, for those of you who prefer that. I used to think of it as the same, but it would never look right when I wrote it. And then I realized that gold is actually, king is not a part of it. Ah, what's your name? I'm going to say, I realize now this many lessons in, I just got lucky. I knew all of those. I just had to look up King because I totally forgot. There you go. You got it. Nice. Yes. Hi. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and let the video play out. Let us know how many you got right down in the comments. You can learn the next five kanji by clicking here. If the video is already out, it is not. If you don't want to wait, You can continue learning with our level one kanji flashcard deck for Anki on tokidiandy.com. You can. We're also releasing kanji series videos early for all the members there, so check it out if you want a head start. Indeed. You like my new end screen? There's no videos on it. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I added them. Is what it is. Alright, guys. Yep. We're up to like. What am I doing here? It's like I signed off or something. Yeah, we've got, and there's these too. Yeah, this, this is all our kanji. No. Probably.、Um, what, what is this? Video 9, we've done, we did one video at 6,、mm. and everything else was 5. So we're almost to 50. 46. We've done 46 kanji so far.、Oh. It's going fast. <laughs> Andy is done, says, I'm out. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Eventually, yeah, they're not going to fit in here. Eventually. When we get to like. Well, I think when we finish N5, we'll remove these and start a new, a new pile. Also, we'll be moving on to words. We'll, we'll take these out when we start words and start putting in the words we learn. Because we've got like 200 words to learn as well. So, uh. Hi. Lots, lots going to be happening. Yeah. You, you guys who have been here from the beginning, if you didn't know any when we started, you can now recognize、ね、46 kanji.、Mm. So that's cool. いい、ね right? You can now recognize more kanji than there are letters in the English alphabet. So that's something. Not to mention, you probably can already read hiragana and katakana. You're kicking, kicking butt. My goal is to take the N5 next December. All right, well, at this rate, you're going to be way ahead、ね、on kanji at least. Only 1,000, yeah, 14,000 left to go if you want to learn, really learn them all. But I don't, know, I don't know that anyone knows all of those. I'm here now, but seem a little late. It is possible. We are almost finished with the live stream, actually. We're going to be heading off soon to lunch. But,、uh, but you made it. Thanks for stopping by, Ian.、ね、ありがとうございます。I meant the common ones. <laughs> so, the only 2000 to go. All right, Nikki. I'm glad that you're,、uh, you enjoyed yourself enough to want to keep going. Hi. Yeah. So, next, that, next week, that means we're crossing.、Um, 
We're crossing 50 kanji next week. We'll, we'll be crossing 50 wow. next week. Video 10 will be next Thursday, Wednesday for you guys who are who it's Wednesday for now. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that completionist achievement. <laughs> oh, no. Senor Serena, arigato gozaimasu. No kanji. Gozaimasu. I just really wanted to thank you guys for everything. Four months ago, I was just going through Duolingo, hoping to learn with no real progress. But since finding you guys, I improved dramatically. Keep up the work. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much. I'm just, I'm so happy that it's been helping you out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yuki said, would you like to put that towards next week's credit and she can write something for you next week? Let us know. She'll write Senor Serena. Has a new name for next week. Thank you so much. Hiru gohan. So, Hiru gohan. It's definitely Hiru gohan time. Today, Yuki and I are going out somewhere. Get some stuff. Ah, so, us Yay! <laughs> it's Thanksgiving for us already, yes. It's also our, our two year anniversary. Yay! We've been married for two years. Fresh couples. Very fresh, yes. <laughs> married for two years. That was fast. That was really fast. Oh my goodness. I thought it was last year. Last year. <laughs> it feels like it was last year. So, three months ago. Three months ago. So, that's it. Three months. Arigatou gozaimasu, Yukiya-san. Yep. Happy anniversary. It's also a national holiday. Thank so. you, Amanda. Yeah. It's also a national holiday. I wasn't thinking about that when we, we got married on this day. Um, everyone has the day off in the country except except for us. <laughs> yeah, today is a very, very common day for people to get married in Japan. So it's 11... Mm, yeah, yesterday. Ah. Um, eleven twenty-two. So, why is that again? Just because it's an auspicious, like no. one one two two. So, so one one two two. No, your mikata will share it again. So she's gonna teach you the reading of one one two two in Japanese. One one. Thank you, everyone. One one two two. Thank you, everyone. One one two two. Hi. E. Ah, right. Foo foo. Ah, right, 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 right. Forgot about that. Hi. So. One one two two can be read as e, which is good, hu fu, which means married couple. So lots and lots of people get married on November twenty second because it can be read as e, good couple. And we are clear. We like to uh, uh, one, not do the same thing day, as everyone, I guess. The day <laughs> so we, we did it the next day. Also, I really like the number twenty three, and for some reason, like I don't know, I mm. like the date. Eleven twenty-three. I always seem to make big decisions on that day, so I wanted to do it on that. So, you <laughs> <laughs> didn't care about the date at all. So that's what we went with. あ、成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成田結婚。成
the kanji videos so that hopefully we can get way ahead and I can get the N4 deck finished. All right, guys. Well, have a great Hi. week, and we will see you in the next one. So, Black Friday sale. Yeah. Have fun on Black Friday. So, yes. Have fun. Hi. All right. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Arigatou Mata tsugi no video de aimashou ne. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to the Americans. Ne. Bye. Bye.